screen readers. In this lecture, we will learn about the screen reader utility. With this utility, you can hide an element in all devices except for screen readers. You can also control if it should show again when gaining focus, for example by navigating with a keyboard. First, let's create a heading element with the class SR only. This will show only for screen readers. So, as we can see, it's not visible. But if we look in the inspector, we can see that it's still there. However, not taking up any space on the screen. Now let's create a link which will act as a skip link that will become visible when it's gaining focus by navigating with a keyboard. To do this, we use the same class SR only as before, plus the class SR only focusable. As we can see in the inspector, it's right beneath the heading element, and both of them are hidden. Now, if I press the tab key once, the skip link will become highlighted. I can then press the enter key to jump down to my main content, but of course, right now I don't have any content on the page. We have now learned how to use the screen reader utility. Go on and continue with the coding exercises which will help you learn the correct structure for this utility. In the next lecture, we'll learn about the sizing utilities.